Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. We're going to get into some MLB action for uh, August the 14th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join. You see we have here the Z-Code VIP Club section, which has a whole bunch of tools to help you make your picks. So we are past the All-Star break. We are past the trade deadline, and we're getting down kind of into the home stretch of the season with teams getting ready to make a push for either the wild card or the division races. So let's take a look at some of these games. We've got Houston and Miami. Look at Houston. They're coming in burning hot. They have won three out of their last four and four out of their last six, coming off of a five to four loss to Baltimore. And Miami, despite losing four out of their last six, have won the last two and are coming in average up. The score prediction has this all Houston nine to four with confidence in prediction of 63%. And not a big surprise, uh, considering that Houston is the defending world champions, and they are right on the tails of the Texas Rangers in the AL West. Um, if you take a look at the over-under, also not a surprise, Houston involved in games over the line. Five of the last six, they're putting runs up on the board. You can see here in their games, they put up, uh, well, four wasn't a huge number, but in their four wins, eight, seven, nine, and seven. And while Miami's coming in at, with uh, three over and three under in their last six. On the power ranks indicator, not a surprise. Also, the upward trend for Houston at plus 28, and down around plus 11 is Miami. The two teams, as far as their uh, their favorite underdog status, uh, both of them are pretty consistent. Um, Miami actually even more so than Houston. Um, which is a little bit of a surprise, but Houston was down around Minus three. See, they were down pretty low there for quite some time. And now that was earlier in the season in May, and now they're back up to plus 13. But anyway, in the end, this is going to be Houston. I think this is going to be all the way Houston, despite um, Miami being 34 and 24 at home. The next one we want to look at is the Yankees and the Braves. This one here is going to be a great matchup. The Yankees, although last place in the AL East, are still over 500, but they have work to do if they want to get back into the playoff picture. Well, Atlanta has the best team in the NL, and honestly, though, they have not been playing real well lately. I know it says burning hot, but they're just 2-4 and four over their last uh, six games, while the Yankees are also 2-4 and four over their last six games, and ice cold down. The score prediction doesn't see this one as much of a contest, though, with Atlanta triumphing over the Yankees by eight runs, but the confidence in the prediction is only 54%, so take a look at that a little bit closer. But pay attention to the fact that Atlanta has... In long games over the line in their last six, so expect a higher scoring contest in this one. On the power ranks indicator, you can, not a surprise also that Atlanta is at the back up at the top of the league at plus 29. The Yankees have been up and down in there now at plus 17. The stability factor both teams have been pretty consistent, particularly Atlanta plus 30. The Yankees at plus 15, but you notice that they were at plus 16 back on June the 2nd. So since then, the last couple months have been pretty inconsistent, and they are back up to plus 15. So what I like about this one is Atlanta. This is going to be a slugfest. Let's go with Atlanta and the game over the line. The next one we want to look at is Angels and Rangers in the AL West. Uh, Angels... Uh, well, average up, winners of two out of their last six. Texas, burning hot down, five and one over the last six, and they're the best team in baseball right now. And the confidence in the prediction of a Texas blowout by a 12 to one score, 77%. You can see where this is trending here. Um, both teams have been trending in games well under the line in the, in the last, but over the line mostly in all the other games prior to that over the last six. On the power ranks indicator, Texas up at the top, which you would expect, along with Atlanta at plus 29, while the Angels are at plus 9, and they have uh, dropped considerably since the beginning of August, where they were at plus 17. I don't really see this as being a very competitive game. If you want a competitive game, go on to another one. If you like the Rangers, this one's for you. Go with the Rangers in a game over the line. The next one we want to look at is uh, Baltimore and San Diego. Baltimore is a surprise team in the league here. Uh, first place in the AL East. No one expected that despite winning 83 games last year. And if you want to take a look at the um, status here, average for Baltimore, dead status for San Diego, because San Diego has lost five of the last six. 
Baltimore four and two over the same stretch. Um, over the line in five out of the last six for Baltimore, and also over for San Diego in four out of the last six. So this could be a higher scoring game. The score predictor has Baltimore by an eight to two score, seventy seven percent level of confidence in that prediction. Head to head, the two teams have not met since two thousand and nineteen, so that's not going to play any kind of factor. In making the pick here in the power ranks indicator baltimore at plus 25 they've been riding high almost all year in that category whereas san diego has been in the middle grounds and they are now down below metal at plus eight stability consistent with favored underdog status uh san diego more so at plus 19 to compared to plus 12 for baltimore i do like this one to be an orioles win so it's going to be a, a road win for the Orioles. And I would think that this would be a game going over the line. So let's go over in the Orioles. The last game we want to look at is the Tampa Bay Rays and the San Francisco Giants. You can see uh, San Francisco's ice cold down. And they are second place in the um, NL West. But pretty distant six games behind the Dodgers. And they're just two and, four, yeah, two and four over the last six. While Tampa Bay has averaged down three and three over the last six. But they're pretty much right on the heels of Baltimore. The score predictor has this one as a tight one. In favor of Tampa Bay, four to three. With confidence in prediction, though, of only 40%. As far as the over-under goes, you can see that the teams have been tr trending in games equally over and under the line over the last 12. And this here shows how close the two teams are actually in terms of the way they're playing right now. Tampa Bay at plus 21, San Francisco at plus 20. The gap was a lot more just a couple days ago, but that has closed considerably. Head to head again, these two teams haven't met in four years, so that's not going to uh, play a bearing on making this prediction. I like to look at this always, and this is a huge one here. Look at this here. Tampa Bay plus 32 on the team volatility oscillator. San Francisco plus four, meaning... The Giants are just not stable. They're not consistently playing with regard to their favorite underdog status. So even if they're favorite, even if they're underdog, who knows? You can't really go on that with that team. I like the Rays, though. The Rays are going to win this one on the road. If you notice there's a trend here, there's been a lot of road prediction wins in this in these uh, games for this week. And that's going to continue on this one, but I will pass on the over-under. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for August 14th. Happy betting and see you again next time.